All right, LD MMAC, LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, so Nico Montano and Valentina Shevchenko, they face off. And guys, let me tell you, man, uh, it was an intense stare down, man. I, you know, you can't tell a whole lot from face offs. You just can't. I, you know, Nico, you kind of, I don't know, Nico walked up. Nico, I, I don't know, she was almost apprehensive a little bit, but she kind she stood there. And, and it's like, I don't know. I felt like like this moment, you know, it was like Nico had that look like, yo, OK, this is real. You know, Valentina, she came up to me. She came up confident. And that's not me. I'm not picking on Nico. Guys, I'm telling you what I saw. But in Nico's defense, many fighters, they get nervous or they don't look confident in face offs. A lot of fighters do that. But then some of those same fighters, they go on to win. And I don't think Nico's going to win this one. But, you know, Nico is there. Nico's doing the face-offs. Nico's ready, you know? So I thought Valentina, Valentina was intense. Like, Valentina was intense. Like, Valentina was ready to go into Nico's ass right there. Folks, I, I, I got to be honest. Valentina was ready to, 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 to put a foot in Nico's ass right there, okay? That, that's, that's how it looked to me. Now, you know, when they started doing the press conference, I was overly pissed off because None of the reporters asked Nico and Valentin. They asked, they asked him one question. See, part of me now know that I probably need to be really pushing and pushing and pushing to try to get to a level because I probably wouldn't need to be at some of these press conferences because I would actually ask the women. I'd be asking them questions because, you know, it, it, I don't know, man. Maybe that's going to change when they do more press conferences. I don't know. But I, I just felt like this is a fight, man. Like I would have been like, Nico, yo. You know, uh, people, you know, have been saying you're scared. And, you know, even myself, I, I thought you poured it. See, I, I'd ask the right questions. You know, Valentina, you know. Valentina, do you think that you can actually beat this girl? Do you think this girl is coming down there, you know, just to lay down for you? Do you think you're going to run her over? And then I say, Valentina, did you think she was scared? See, they, they should have been asking Valentina and Nico those questions to build up the fight. Like, to literally build up, like, like, like the dramatic sequences within that fight. See, the coach, I, I, I would have done that. I would have been asking all kind of questions, you know. I would have been asking him so many questions. Okay, Nico, you know, how is your body? What percent are you at? What are you at now? What is your team? How was your confidence? So I would have been asking that. You know, Valentina, do you expect to finish this fight or you think this fight going distance, okay? Well, I mean, be honest, Valentina. Be straight with me. Do you think you're going to get this girl out of there? Nico, be honest with me. I mean, is your confidence there or is it lacking? I mean, you got to tell me this. See, I would have been in there building their fight but you know none of these reporters they're not really interested in valentina and nico so i definitely got to pump out videos i got to pump out videos i you know i got to do what i can do okay um and i know valentina she's going to get air coverage i know nico will get air coverage but i just i felt like the women were very disrespected in this particular event because they really and i watched the entire press conference to see if anybody else would ask valentina or nico a question and you know nobody did so yeah, it was completely ludicrous, you know? It was ludicrous. And there are a lot of fans that actually want to see this fight with Valentina and Nico. There are a lot of fans. There are a lot of people wanting to see this. You know, you need to be asking Valentina questions. Valentina is a future star. You need to be asking Nico questions. Nico is, is, is the flyweight champion. You got to be asking these questions, man. Like, this fight, we got to build it up. And I got some work to do, man. I got to do a promo vid. I, I got to do so much stuff, man. I'm so behind. I've been dealing with just work and just, you know, dealing with YouTube. And, man, I got so much work to do, man. But, shoot, I'm going to get it done, man. You know, I, I got to, you know, find some music to, to make a promo video with these two, man. You know, I just I got a lot of work to do, man. But, you know, I definitely want to help promote this fight. I got to do it because, you know, the press conference did. They did a very poor job. They did a horrific job in asking Valentina and Nico questions. And, I you know, shout out to the one reporter that actually asked Valentina and Nico a great question, but that was it, you know. I had about six or seven questions I could have asked, you know, but that's, that's on me, you know. I, I got to, you know, I got to start getting my, I, I got to get off my butt, and I got to get myself in gear, man, so I can be the guy that will ask those questions, okay. I, I got to do it. So, you know, I got to figure out a game plan for that, um, but I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to do what I can from here to try to help push this fight. Um, yeah, man, because Nico, by all intents and purposes, Nico got a chance to grow her fan base after this fight. Valentina can cross over and become a, a big star. 
I mean, she's already popular in places, but she can become a big star. And Nico can grow her fan base, okay? Because after this fight, if Nico loses, she don't have anything to be ashamed of, okay? If Nico actually does not win this fight, she's actually going to be fighting the best fighter in the world. And if Nico, look, this is a win-win for Nico Montano. It's, it's completely win-win. If the girl can actually go to distance and put up a good performance against Valentina, Nico wins. Like, she wins. Like, really, she wins. She's going to gain more fans. And, you know, Nico, will, and if, if the fight is really competitive, Nico will probably get a rematch, you know, which I would be for that. If Nico does well, you know, she get a rematch. Now, if Nico wins the fight, Nico automatically becomes a superstar, okay? If Nico Montano can do the unthinkable, this will probably be the biggest upset in women's MMA history right here if Nico can pull this off. Like, she'll be a star, an overnight star, for real, okay? And then there's nothing that guys like me or nobody can say. There's nothing we can say about it, okay? But I, I don't, I can't see Nico winning this fight. I can't see it. Um, and my keys to victory, I, I said some things that Nico should probably consider doing. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, okay? You know, these are two really good fighters. They care about fighting, okay? They're, you know, they're very pretty, they, but they fight well. And I think that this media, you know, shame on them, man, for not engaging them with good questions, okay? It, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's ludicrous. It's ludicrous, man, is what it was. So I'm thoroughly disappointed in the press conference. Now, you know, I like you know, some of the trash talking. It was okay. But, uh, you know, I really wanted to see the really thought of what these two really had in their minds. And nobody dwelled into that. But you guys tell me what you think about this face-off. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris. And I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.